The Secular Coalition for America is working to launch a new chapter right here in Tennessee. That group plans to lobby for stronger separation of church and state. Fox 17's Erica Lathan live in studio now with more on that story. Well, the Secular Coalition of America is based in Washington, D.C., but they believe that a lot of laws passed at the state level are currently undermining that separation of church and state, but some say they will not get a warm welcome in the Bible Belt. According to a Pew Research Center survey, 72 percent of Tennesseans say religion is an important part of their lives, but some believe religious freedom is under attack. The greatest people persecuted in America are people of faith today that are being pushed out of the public marketplace, and we have been kind of like lambs to slaughter. Lauren Anderson Youngblood of the Secular Coalition for America says the opposite is true. It's why the group, made up of mainly atheist organizations, plans to set up a chapter in Tennessee. We believe that the separation of religion and government is really the best guarantee uh, of freedom for all Americans, including religious people. I would disagree with that. You know, George Washington said, let no man claim the tribute of American patriotism who tries to separate religion from politics. And so our founding fathers had no intention that religion would be banned to certain places. The coalition points to recent Tennessee laws on abstinence and the so-called monkey bill allowing teachers to question evolution as proof of the growing link between church and state. What we're seeing recently is that some of the most egregious legislation that attempts to insert religion into government is being introduced at the state level. Pastor Davis says the separation of church and state is a concept largely misinterpreted by what he calls a liberal Supreme Court. The letter that Thomas Jefferson wrote that had that phrase in it to the Anabaptist went on to say that there is a wall of separation, but it's a one-way wall. And it's not to keep the church out of government, but it's to keep the government out of church. The Secular Coalition for America America plans to organize and train lobbyists locally, but many believe it will be a tough sell in the Bible Belt. I hope that they, you know, give us a chance and get to know us, and, and I think that a lot of, uh, of the, even the religious people there in Tennessee will, will be uh, pleasantly surprised with what we're doing because, you know, what we're fighting for is really to protect our Constitution, and that's a value that everyone, regardless of their religion, really should be able to get behind. Now, the Secular Coalition for America is hoping to set up chapters in all 50 states by the end of the year. You can click the links section at fox17.com to learn more.